Hello friends, welcome to Inside Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Supreme Court judgment on VVPAT tally. Okay, so the topic heading is Supreme Court judgment on 100% EVM VVPAT verification. This is the title of this video. And let's see the learning objectives. Okay, for the next few minutes, you are going to learn about these aspects. First, the context. Then, what are verifiable paper audit trial? What does it mean? And how is VVPAT used for verification? What are the three things taken into consideration by Supreme Court? What issues considered by Supreme Court? Then we discuss about what are the directions given by the Supreme Court regarding this particular case. Okay. For better understanding of this, you have to know some basics. And here I will explain those basics as well. So these are the learning objectives and syllabus mapping. This particular topic is related to gender studies paper 2. So first, let me give the context and the name of the case. After that, I'll explain you the entire concept. So here the context is Supreme Court today given one judgment and in the judgment, it rejected all the pleas okay, regarding the 100% cross verification of EVM data with VVPAT records. Supreme Court rejected all these, you know, like requests. Then the name of this case is Association of Democratic Reforms versus Election Commission of India. This is the name of the case. Now, let me explain the concept to you. So, first here, what are the key elements? Key elements are Supreme Court and EVM plus VVPAT. EVM plus VVPAT. First, let me explain about this part, EVM plus VVPAT. Actually, so regarding the EVM VVPAT, there will be three units. The first one will be the EVM, which is generally known as ballot unit. Here you will press the button against the candidate. Then you will see whom you voted for. That is the VVPAT. Here the candidate name, symbol and the serial number will be displayed. For how many seconds? Comment. For how many seconds the display will be there. Okay. And there will be the display and the paper cut off from the display and it will be stored in that box. There will be another mission. This is known as control unit. So here as a part of concept, you have to understand EVM plus VVPAT plus control unit. These are the three things involved in this process. So here Supreme Court, there are three requests made before the Supreme Court. Three requests made before the Supreme Court. What are they? The first request is we should shift from the EVM process to EVM process to ballot. That means going back to ballot paper. This is the first request made before the Supreme Court. And the second one is regarding the VVPAT. At the moment, the VVPAT slips, they will be, you know, like stored in the that particular box. VVPAT slips, VVPAT slips, they should be given to the order. Okay. VVPAT slips they should be given to the voter voter should be able to verify this slip slips and voter will himself will you know like put them in the ballot this is the second request made before the supreme court third one is regarding the evm and vvpat vvpat tally at this moment in, a, in any election, in any assembly election, out of the entire constituency, we are randomly picking 5 EVMs and 5, five VVPAT and we are trying to match whether whatever the votes recorded in the EVM are they exactly matching the VVPAT or not. They should be because when you cast in EVM, that vote will be reflected here and it will be stored in VVPAT and EVM simultaneously. So randomly at the moment we are doing, how much tally at the moment we are doing? We are doing the 5 percentage tally at the moment. 5 percentage tally we are doing at present and they requested how much tally they requested the 100 percentage tally before the court. That means in a particular assembly constituency if you used for example 5000 EVMs and for 5000 EVMs consider 5000 VV pads are there. Now they requested before the court that all the 5, P, 5 EVMs after they counted they should be tallied with the respective VV pad whether the oats casted in the EVM and VVPAT whether they are properly you know like tallied or not. These are the three requests proposed by before the Supreme Court. Now what is the Supreme Court judgment? Okay, actually the judgment given by the 
two judge bench okay so the first one going back from evm to ballot paper it completely rejected it completely rejected then regarding giving the voter slip to voter this vv pat slip to voter and voter verifying and put them back in the ballot paper this was also rejected clear and regarding the tally of 100 percentage tally this was also rejected and supreme court voted for the continuation of 5 percentage tally only so all these three proposals were rejected outrightly apart from that supreme court also given some directions to eci and union government what are those directions we will see so before we discuss about that i'll ask you one question according to constitution what is the strength of election commission of india okay answer to this question let's see eci it given following directions what are those directions supreme court supreme court given certain directions to eci they are these directions what are they number one these three things that is this ballot unit that is evm control unit and vv patch okay this ballot unit ballot unit ballot unit that is evm unit and control unit control unit plus vv pat vv pat all these three units their burnt memory burnt memory means whatever the memory stored in these devices burnt memory you will call that as burnt memory burnt memory should be tested okay among five percentage devices like randomly five percentage of these three devices will be picked up and the burnt memory out of all these five equipment will be tested actually this request has to be done only by the candidates okay who came second or third in that particular contest and the expenditure should be bear by these candidates expenditure should be bear by these candidates this is the first observation by the supreme court and the second observation by the supreme court is okay this actually after you voted in the evm this display will come here in the vv pat so to to get the display that means candidate name candidate symbol and candidate serial number to get that information in the vv pat we will use generally symbol loading units we will use symbol loading units symbol loading units s l u okay to vv pat vv pat supreme court directed that the symbol unit symbol loading units they should be stored for how many days they should be stored for 45 days in the strong room this is the second direction and the third direction is third direction is now we are counting we are matching how much percentage of the vv pat with evm 5 percentage that means out of 100 evms we will pick the 5 evms and the respective vv pat we will open that respective vv pat boxes we will count the the slips in the vv pat manually now the supreme court recommended that while you are counting this try to use the bar coded bar coded vv pat slips try to use the bar coded vv pat slips this was one of the supreme court direction okay of course it can be implemented based on the feasibility by the election commission of india these are the three important directions served by the supreme court in this particular case and supreme court outrightly rejected all these three requested regarding this vv pat evm tally so this is the crux of this video now we will see the rest of the information we already discussed in the recent video that vv pat for the first time used experimentally in the recent 2014 election and the vv pat includes vv pat printer as well as the vv pat status display unit here the information will be displayed for 7 seconds candidate name serial number and his political party symbol then automatically it will be dropped into the box which attached to vv pat and how the vv pat used for verification randomly 5 percentage of the vv pats will be selected and that votes will be tallied with the evm electronic voting then this vv pat developed by ecil bharat electronics limited these two psus participated in the development of the vv pat the significance of the vv pat is vv pats will definitely improve the transparency in the election at 
it it motivated the people to participate in the election because when you when you make elections in a more transparent way obviously more number of people will willing to participate in the elections so steps taken we already discussed previously what are the challenges there are some allegations that vvpat can be hacked but experts are saying that as these are not con connected through any network and one more thing is this vvpats and evms they will be randomly allocated but because that means you don't know which vvpat and which evm will be matched up and you don't know which evm will go to which polling station that means this entire process is randomized process so it is very difficult to hack this process so that is some of the observations now yesterday's video question prohibition is the act or practice of forbidding something by law more particularly the term refers to banning of the manufacture storage transportation sale and consumption of alcoholic beverages so this entire description related to which provision of the dpsp it is related to article 47 article 47 related to so gandhian principle you all know that according to that it is the responsibility of the state to enhance the public health as a part of that state should encourage the abolition of consumption of alcohol this is the mcq question then today's video question today's video question let's see with reference to the vv pat consider the following statement first statement it is an independent system attached to evm that means vv pat attached, attached to evm and this vv pat allow the voters to verify that their votes are casted as properly or not this is the first statement second in cases of discrepancy that means difference between the evm result and vv pat paper slips the election commission decisions is precedence that means the election commission whatever the decision they take that will prevail third one india was the first country to implement the vv pat system so out of these three statements pick the right one main question what are the challenges in the debate on electoral reforms in india and how can the electoral system be adapted to enhance transparency and public trust this is today's main question that's it as we reach to the end of this video we do quick revision in this video we mainly discussed about supreme court observation regarding the vv pat and evm tally supreme court rejected all the three pleas supreme court served certain directions those directions also we discussed apart from that we discussed regarding the vv pat introduction the significance of vv pat and the rest of the details we covered so this is the detailed analysis regarding the supreme court judgment on the vv pat and evm tally i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind